Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Tuesday, October 11. This past Monday, details for the two Bisbee's 2022 sport fishing tournaments were announced, including the news that organizers are expecting a historical purse of more than $10 million, which, if it were to be so, would be the largest prize for fishing tournaments worldwide. Organizers also said that both Bisbee's tournaments are expected to generate $15 to $20 million of direct economic benefit to Los Cabos. In a press conference, Cliserio Mercado, coordinator of the Bisbee's tournaments, informed that from the 20th to the 23rd of October, the 24th edition of the Los Cabos Offshore, known as Little Bisbee's, will be held. The registration of participants will be on Wednesday, October 19th and Thursday, October 20th at Plaza Puerto Paraíso starting at 3 p.m. The starting shot will be fired from the Cabo Escape Boat at 8 a.m. in front of the arch. The two days of fishing will be October 21st and 22nd from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The scales will open from 12 noon to 9 p.m. The tournament will conclude on Sunday, October 23rd, with the award dinner at Maria Corona Restaurant starting at 7 p.m. Two days later, the 42nd edition of the long-awaited and world-famous Bisbee's Black and Blue Sport Fishing Tournament will begin. It will take place from the 25th through the 29th of October. Registration will be on Tuesday, October 25th, starting at 3 p.m. The fishing days will be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. The starting shot will take place at 8 a.m. from the Cabo Wave boat in front of the arch. The way station will be open from noon until 9 p.m. The awards dinner will be on Saturday starting at 7 p.m. at the Pier Breakwater. In other news, tourism in Los Cabos has grown at a historical rate in 2022. According to the Los Cabos Tourism Board, FITURCA for a tracker in Spanish, The numbers indicate a sustained annual growth of 20% for this year. These historical figures for Los Cabos have never been seen before in the tourism industry. Rodrigo Esponda, executive director of Fiturca, said that there is no similar historical or statistical data since the highest number in growth was 17% five years ago. And he added that no one expected to see that much growth again, especially given the fact that this figure was registered before the COVID-19 pandemic. Esponda said that the numbers for September show 20% growth in terms of flow of tourists, which are very close to the numbers registered in 2019 and 2021. This sets the trend because in recent months, Los Cabos has grown consistently in arrivals, as well as in the average rate per night. Another important announcement made by Esponda is the confirmation of the Madrid-Los Cabos flight by Iberojet for next year. It should be noted that Fiturca recognized the interest of European tourism in also visiting La Paz, with 80% of all passengers flying from Spain visiting La Paz during their stay. These are part of the good news for tourism in Los Cabos, which end up having a positive impact all over Baja California Sur. And in more tourism-related news, Los Cabos is a unique destination in the Mexican Pacific for its natural beauty, where mountains, deserts, and beach converge, and as part of the promotional efforts for this tourist destination, the Los Cabos Tourism Board, Fiturca for Chacarme in Spanish, published a list of the five most emblematic beaches in Los Cabos. The listed beaches are Playa Las Viudas, located 15 minutes from Cabo San Lucas by car. Playa Las Viudas is a small cove surrounded by volcanic rock caves, natural pools, and calm waves that allow swimming or snorkeling. Palmilla Beach, located in the Cabo San Lucas Tourist Corridor, very close to San Jose del Cabo. This beach is one of the most popular in the region due to the calm waves and fine sand that allows beachgoers to lie down and either relax or have fun with any of the water activities available, such as swimming, snorkeling, or sport fishing. Playa El Medano, located in the heart of Cabo San Lucas. It stands out for its soft golden sand as well as for its vibrant energy as it is surrounded by various restaurants and bars. Medano Beach offers panoramic views of the iconic Land Sand Arch, which gives a special background to beach activities like jet skiing, stand-up paddleboarding, and parasailing. Playa Santa Maria, located in the tourist corridor of Los Cabos at kilometer 12.5 of the Transpeninsular Highway. Playa Santa Maria stands as a benchmark for lovers of marine life and snorkeling. And Playa del Amor, a picture-perfect small beach that is best reached by boat and offers great snorkeling in the Sea of Cortes. 
These five beaches are a sampling of the wide natural and tourist offer of Los Cabos. It should be noted that Los Cabos is distinguished with 22 blue flag certified beaches, making it the tourist destination in Mexico with the most certified beaches. The blue flag certificate is an international recognition that is granted by complying with strict environmental, educational, and accessibility standards that guarantee visitors clean and safe beaches during their stay. That is all that I have for you today. Have a great evening. And remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Ricks and Claudia Vela.